Good dusk everyone, welcome back to your beloved Dutch speedrun. The series that I always have a 100% win rate in every video and have never lost even a single game. And without any further ado, let's get into today's content. E4, Duck on E5. Duck Chess is a variant available on chess.com, check out this video for a thorough explanation of the rules of the variant, or you can actually just continue watching this video and understand everything because it is relatively very simple. D5. Another Scandinavian, which blunders a pawn. H5. Very aggressive. D4. Rook H6. Okay that is actually a bit scary because I have never seen this opening before, maybe this guy is up to something that I cannot imagine. I'll solidify my center. E6. Take take bishop d3. Knight c6. Aha. For some reason I really want to go queen takes h5 here. But I don't see what is the continuation, so there is no need to rush ourselves like that. Knight f3. Knight f6. Aha. He actively changed his duck's position, which means he is actually challenging me to take his rook. And even though I think bishops are better than rooks, this time I will accept his offer. And then he didn't even take back. I have no idea. I'll pull it back first. Some people may say that I could have checked his king first, but no. He can also use the duck to block my bishop from coming back. Dutch chess tactics are a whole lot trickier than normal chess. Resignation. That was fast, almost like a free win, my second game was also a free win, so I'm not gonna waste your time with it. Third game let's go. Third game we get a relatively experienced opponent. E4. Aha. This guy knows that c5 is a very strong opening move for black, so he decided to use the duck to prevent c5. So I guess. E5. I actually don't know which move is better between e5 and c5, so playing with e5 every once in a while is actually not a bad idea. Knight f3. Knight c6. I'll speed you through the opening. Knight d5. The very first blunder of the game, knight takes e4. Knight takes e7. Queen takes e7. I consider knights to be better than bishops in this variant, so this should be a relatively good trade for me. We are up to a very good start. c3. b6. Queen c2. Very aggressive. But that gives me even more reasons to keep the duck on the same place. Bishop e2. Let us start making progress. g5. I may have to regret this though, looks way too aggressive for comfort. Castle. g4. Knight h4. Okay I was expecting a retreat instead of an advancement, very aggressive. d5, I'll prevent knight f5. He didn't take my pawn. Solidifying. This guy doesn't take anything. I'll take then. c4. Queen e5. Take take rook over. I am scared. Castle. It's actually pretty weird that he moved his rook straight at my king but didn't prevent me from castling. This position is getting more and more dangerous. The blunders should be coming very fast very quickly. Rook c1. This is getting very dangerous, attack is the best form of defense, knight b4. Queen e1. d3. And I think I blundered that pawn. Never mind. That blunders a bishop. Actually I don't know, maybe he has some tricks up his sleeves. The duck can turn everything upside down if used correctly. Bishop takes h8. He lets me recapture. Queen e2. 
I'll simplify the position, take take knight retreats. Rook d1. Rook e8. And he blundered his queen. Knight takes c8. Queen is very strong in duchess. Losing a queen is basically losing the entire game, the rest of the game is fairly simple as there is nothing can stop my queen anymore. Third game is a win. And then for the next 20 games or something I only got paired against beginners and got all the free wins, I actually lost count of how many games I played. But this was the final game. We get a beginner with platinum membership. E4. Knight c6. Knight f3. Knight f6. I can attack that knight. On second thought maybe I should have put the duck on g4. This is so embarrassing. I'm blundering a pawn in the very opening phase. At least I'll trade my bishop with his knight. I'll say losing a pawn to make this trade is absolutely worth it. Unless he takes with that knight. Okay this is actually very confusing, I seriously didn't expect him to take with that knight. d4. I refuse to believe I'm losing that pawn for nothing. Knight takes f3. g takes f3, duck on f6. Knight h6. Okay this is worth it. g takes h6. Retreat d6, c3, e5. No reason to open up the board against a bishop bear, d5. Bishop e7, knight d2, rook g8, knight e4, I guess I have to use the duck against his rook. Bishop f5, knight g3, bishop g6, Take take queen lift. Queen h6 and we win. He prevents it. Long castle. No castle. Bishop g5 royal pin. Knight e4. Queen f5. Very aggressive. I'll avoid the pin first. At some point we can jump our queen to the other side and infiltrate. And then he blundered his queen. Duck chess speedrun today. 100% win rate.